Hello everyone, this is Mauricio here at Tico Laser Creations and um, today I'm just going to be, this is a quick video about uh, the proximity sensors in your uh, laser machine. Sometimes, um, for some reason, you hear uh, this super loud and awful noise coming out of your machine, especially when you uh, turn it on and it's trying to do the homing, go, go to the home spot. Uh, basically what's happening the majority of times is either that the proximity sensor has failed or uh, it's simply then uh, something is in front of it, a wire, a cable or something. And uh, so I'm just going to be showing you a little bit uh, real quick on how to diagnose uh, what the problem is and get it fixed. All right, so your machine is going to have a couple of proximity sensors. In this case, in my machine, there's one right here. This one right here, that um, this one is the, uh, the one that registers the head. When the head is moving this way, this one that's gonna tell it when to stop. Otherwise, the head will keep thinking that it just, if this fails or has something in front of it, the machine thinks it just can keep going that way. And it's gonna start banging against this rail or banging against the back over there. Anyways. These are the, the proximity sensors in your machine, and that's what it tells the machine or, um, where to stop, you know, where this, uh, to stop when it gets to the side or when to stop when it gets to the back, and it's the another one on that side. Anyways, super simple to diagnose. First, make sure, like in this case, uh, let me move this one over here. If I get this head over here in the, let me see, there's a red light there. That red light, that simply tells us that <clears throat> it registers the middle coming from here, from the head, approximating this, this guy over here. So sometimes let's say then these wires over here, see these wires, if one of them is in front or something like that, it doesn't get all the way over here or just the, the sensor is not gonna read that the metal is coming. Basically what this sensor detects is just the metal. So when it comes in here and there's from something, a wire or something in front of it, it's just gonna get here and start banging this thing really loud and keep trying to keep hold, you know, keep banging that thing uh, because it's not registering. Uh, the way, same if it goes to the back, if it something covers this or this or this fails, immediately just starts banging towards the back. Now, super simple to test. All that you have to do is come in here and put use anything metal. I use a screwdriver. You can use anything, and you put it on top of it. You see that? And that tells me that the sensor is working just fine. Coming back, same thing. See the light comes up. No, my sensors are just fine. So if I have a machine and I test it and the sensors are fine, most likely you're gonna have a wire or something that when the metal from uh, this head or uh, the metal from the rail is approaching, is, is, is blocking uh, the sensor from reading it. So that's an easy fix. All that you have to do is move whatever is blocking it to, uh, the out of the way and it will just start working just fine. If the sensor fails, simply just read the serial number in there and uh, Amazon has them. I think they're like seven dollars or something like that. Really easy uh, to fix. Just change it out. And All right guys, I hope that that was helpful uh, for, for those times when you're like, holy crap, my machine is trying to uh, kill itself and start banging things around. I hope that that helps. Uh, diagnose the problem and uh, until next time.